Look at this picture. How is the church reflected in the lake even though it's not next to the lake? In this video we'll find out. So some of my most popular videos recently have been when I've explained how mirrors work. So carrying on that series of videos I've had a very good question emailed to me by Linda Rubenzel and I just knew I'd have to make another video to explain it. You can find all the other videos about mirrors if you search this channel and I'll add them as cards to this one as well. So Linda's question was this. I took a picture at a lake and in the lake the church was mirrored despite the church being far away from the lake, like at least one kilometre. I don't understand how the lake can mirror despite the distance. Now this is a very similar problem to the how does the mirror know one that started all this and I think it needs another diagram to explain it. So here's a side view of a church a good distance away from a lake and a person on the other side of the lake. Now light from the church will be raiding out in all directions. Some will hit the ground, some will travel away from the lake and the viewer, some goes off into the sky. But for this explanation, let's just look at one beam of light. That beam of light is going to travel at just the right angle and hit the surface of the lake. The surface of the water will act as a mirror. Now knowing what we already know about how light reflects, the angle that the light hits the lake is the same angle that it's going to reflect off. So if the light is hitting at a shallow angle, it'll reflect off at a shallow angle and into the eye of the person or into the camera lens if they're taking a photograph. It doesn't matter how far away the church is from the lake, if there is a line of sight for a beam of light to hit it, it will reflect from the surface of the lake. To a person viewing this, it looks as though the light is coming from a point below the surface of the lake and we see that as a reflection. We're also going to see the church normally because the light can come straight to us as well as bouncing off the lake. So we're going to see both the church and its reflection. Now, if we're going to draw this properly, then let's take two light rays from the top of the church, look at how they reflect, and then we can trace them back. So to the observer, it looks as though the rays are coming from a point somewhere below the surface of the lake. So that's it. Thank you, Linda, for the question. I hope I've helped you to understand it. If you've got any more questions about how mirrors work, please let me know. This series of videos has proved to be very popular. There's a lot of questions about how mirrors work. I'm happy to answer them. Please put them in the comments and I'll have a go. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Goodbye.